three, two, one, crescendo. Hi, hi, of course, counting off their game pieces. They score an Auton. I jinxed it. Of course, as soon as I pointed out, that's when the Auton just stops working for them. I apologize. You can blame that on me. But now you're in teleoperation mode. You can't blame me for anything after that. All right. On the consumer's energy field, red off to a good start. 15 to 11. Blue Alliance scoring it in the speaker thanks to MC Hammers. LISD technicians right next to him trying to score. Kinematic Wolves almost. Actually, they did score in the speaker for the red side. We've got a lot of robots traffic jam in the center of the field. As Kinematic Wolves is trying to get around the stage and other robots. Bit of defense from the blue side. 25, 27 actually to 24. Still a very close game. Blue Alliance doing some shut down defense. Against the Alliance, Blue and Red Alliance. Kinematic Wolves almost getting knocked out of the field, but managed to recover. Lots of heavy hitting happening in this match as Kinematic Wolves trying to get around the Blue Lions, but their defense is absolutely stellar from the Blue Lions. We've got some pinning going on by the Red Alliance getting wedged in between two robots. Not officially pinning, of course. Just stating that they got between two robots and stood still for a second. 49-29 of this match. Red Alliance in a lead. Blue, 51-44. LISD technicians almost scoring in the speaker again. With 20 seconds left. 76-56 is on the right side of the stage, trying to score, trying to get that end game. With six seconds left, we don't have any robots right now on stage, but 76-56 is trying to fix that. High High Samurai gets stage right on the red side, 